Configuring ARP nodes for a DDoS attack. I'm Muhammad Man Mirza and my teammates are Zaman Aziz, Farhan Faiz Rasool, Ghulam Rasool Hashim. On our CMD, uh, we will write ARP hyphen A. This is our switch and these two are other systems in our network. We will ping one by one. 192.168.1.1 this is responding we cancel this and we'll check other systems too this is also responding this is also responding now all the systems are responding the main attacks that occurs are uh, connection hijacking and interception you can intercept and hijack all the transfer or the traffic man in the middle attack uh, you can come in the middle of the communication between two ends and capture or sniff data packet sniffing some passive sniffing is related to this and some denial of services requirements for ARP spoofing Wireshark, Colasoft, Capsa, Kane, Batch File for flushing or flooding ARP cache. XARP is a tool uh, which detects whether there is a ARP poisoning or ARP attack. Uh, this is uh, especially for some uh, bad ARP traffic. ARP request stress tool. ARP request stress tool is a tool which generates some spoofed ARP requests. And now we show you how to do ARP attack. First, we'll open XARP. XARP, as I mentioned earlier, shows that whether there is an ARP attack or not. The statistics shows that this IP address has this MAC address, this IP address has this MAC address, this IP address has this MAC address, and so on. And there is uh, no ARP attack. These check marks show that all is well. After that, we will open Wireshark. Wireshark is a tool which captures or sniff some data traveling in this internet. Uh, so, we are on uh, this interface and we start capture on this interface. First, we will filter this means that we can filter the information or the packet data as we are interested only in ARP requests. So, I filter this in ARP mode and now on command prompt I ping 192.168.1.1 which is a, a switch of our uh, small internet. Here you see that uh, who has 192.168.1.1? Tell 192.168.1.11. This is the interface where I am. 192.168.1.11. This is the IP address of this system where I am working. I ping 192.168.1.1. Now, ARP message is generated that who has this IP, and then a reply back. Uh, this is a reply that. 192.168.1.1 is at this physical address. Now, this is the MAC address where this IP lies. Uh, one more thing that ARP cache refreshes itself after some regular intervals of time. This is the only way it can keep records of different IP addresses to their different MAC addresses. Now, all is going good. Uh, now, we will sh show you some other tool, uh, Kane. Kane is a nice tool which is used to do some ARP poisoning or man in the middle attack or sending some spoofed ARP messages. One more thing that we need is this bat file. This is the bat file that we will use. This is just a bat file to flash ARP cache of this interface. This is the interface and this is the 
command that we'll use to flash the ERP cache. Now uh, we will use a software called Colasoft Capsa. Start capture here. This is also same kind of software as Wireshark, but it is a very comprehensive in uh, showing information about different things. These are uh, the protocols, and here you'll see that uh, ARP requests. These are the bytes or the packets which are sending as request, and these are the resp ARP response. Now all we need is to maximize this ARP request graph or we have to generate as much as request as we can so that we can hang our network. For this we will show you 192.168.1.2 will start pinging. This is the graph of packets coming via this ping these are success of this status is successful you can also increase the size of packets i have already increased the size of packets to 1024 and uh, the time intervals are you can see that uh, this is this graph is uh, fluctuating uh, something like this as the packet size is very large now i will use my batch file this batch file slash arp dot bat here it is this is running behind actually this file is just flushing the arp cache and here you will see that the response time of arp pings is very much increased to 4 seconds and there are some timeouts you can see that graph is going higher and higher here you'll see that it's gone uh, to up to 4 milliseconds. This is the response time in milliseconds. And now I use gain software. Uh, uh, first we'll delete all the previous records. Uh, we'll just add something here uh, for details. Uh, these are the configuration for this software. Uh, we are at this uh, IP address. This is our uh, interface these are the ARP poisoning row uh, we can use some fake IP address and a MAC address I will use this as uh, 103 and MAC address is this it is just fake message now we will apply these settings and now you have to uh, figure out this now uh, scan for MAC addresses sniffer must be activated so I activated just sniffer and then started now target is all host in my subnet it will uh, send ARP messages of what kind these are things Prometheus mode scanner this is what we need I just select all because I need to just jam my internet so okay here you'll see that different requests are sending on Wireshark you'll see that here it is all these IPs are just fake IPs and now you'll see here it's up to 5 seconds and now this request timeout remember that we are using on our local area network which has just 4 systems which has just 4 systems and in a small LAN of just 4 systems such a graph is showing that there is a serious jamming of our internet uh, one more thing uh, I will show you that ARP requests here you see that response is not as much as request now one more thing that what is ARP storming ARP request storm is uh, occur when ARP requests exceeds ARP response threshold continuously different I, uh, messages are sending you can see that just I'm scrolling up all our ARP messages that but there is no uh, reply so to clear all no here uh, this is my switch and these are the two systems which are connected to my switch 
um, I select all these two here and I will poison these two. Now ARV poisoning started. Here you see that ARV poisoning has started. Here you see that this is the our spoofed uh, ARP message and this is the MAC address as you see that this is a fake MAC address what is this information is saying this information is saying that uh, MAC address for IP 192.168.1.2 changed to 00112233445 here you see that this MAC address is changed so this is the tool uh, now here all the uh, ARP cache is poisoned. This is how we can detect the ARP attacks or uh, uh, ARP bad traffic. Now you see that these are the packets and uh, you see here that this is going on.